Hey, welcome to Digital Health Live Day 2 here in beautiful, sunny San Diego. My name is Tim Ria, and we're here with a very special guest uh, just coming off this awesome panel about the DNA economy. We have Dr. Samir Damani, who's the founder and CEO of MD Revolution. Hi. Hi. Uh, it's great to be here. Exciting session. So I love to meet entrepreneurs and kind of tell us about your background, how you got here. Sure. So I, you know, I come from the medical side. I actually am a practicing cardiologist for Scripps Clinic. And uh, about two, three years ago, I was doing a lot of research and noticed that these emerging technologies in digital health that allowed for real-time monitoring were being purchased and used by the consumers and not really being brought together in an integrated fashion to actually enable better health. Uh, doctors at the same time are are usually slow to pick up technologies in many instances and so what we did at MD Revolution was to create a clinical lab where we have more of an Apple feel where the mobile health bar is a focus of the practice and what we're doing there is we have a you know a system where people learn how to use these apps and devices to actually enable better health we have registered dietitians nutritionists personal trainers that then coach people remotely so we have people all over the country come in they get their assessments uh, here in La Jolla and then we remotely monitor them through our our new software platform, RevUp. Tell me about uh, the moderator of the panel and some of the topics that were happening inside. Yeah, so Francois Ferre was the moderator. He's a CEO of a very prominent biotech company called Althea Technologies. And, uh, you know, what the discussion was surrounding uh, was the how DNA technology, which is really dropped in cost for sequencing by 14,000 fold, and how is that now being used? to enable better health. And so we, the focus with Life Technologies is they're more precision medicine based on the use of uh, genetics for treating cancers based on targeted therapies, while where our approach is more personalized medicine, which is using genetics as a piece of the puzzle. In other words, you know, genetics we feel is probabilistic. It's not deterministic. It doesn't determine who you are. But the other aspects that are so critical are your diet, your exercise. How can you use the tools of digital health that allow monitoring of physiologic variables and combine that with information on your DNA to actually understand your body better and then actually in, you know, induce behavior change ultimately comes down to qu the quantified self. If you, can't, if you can't measure what you're doing, you don't understand who you are, it's hard to actually then change what you're doing. So this is pretty revolutionary. Well, you know, the name of our company is MD Revolution. We do feel like it's a revolution in medicine going around based on the fact of necessity. I mean, we, we are a society in the developed world that we wait for crises to occur before we really change how we do things. And right now with healthcare reform and, you know, right now uh, healthcare is a $2.6 trillion industry and 70% of that are preventable chronic diseases. If you look, 40% of heart disease, excuse me, 40% of cancers, lung, breast, colon, prostate are preventable, 80% of heart disease, yet these are the one out of two people die from these conditions. So these are preventable through more personalized approaches to actually living healthier. And, and people right now are not, they're trying to use it. They're trying to use the Fitbits and fuel bands. But until you actually collect, interpret, and explain how that data means, and until you engage a physician population, I don't think it's going to go where it needs to go. Luckily, right now, we have to go to a value-based, outcomes-based system. And so we're seeing this big move towards outcomes away from fee-for-service where you're, you're incentivized to treat disease and to do more. Now you're, you're, you're forced to do better. So you're bringing something new to market right now and just to launch. Absolutely. That's right. We, we launched RevUp, which is uh, RevUp Health Accelerated. It, was, it came out of the fact that traditional electronic health records that doctor uses is usually based on administration of the current system. So to bill for disease, to bill for treatment is so that the doctor sees information. To truly go from a doctor-centric to a patient-centric model, you have to give access to this data. So our software platform is a software platform for the patient where you are able to see all your physiologic variables, how many calories you took in through MyFitnessPal, what you know, your steps were like, what is your genetic information to 23andMe, what is your lab data through LabCorp, and, and then what we do on the monitoring and motivate component is actually we're able to see who's not exercising for the first time without having to call because if they're not putting on their heart rate monitor or if they're not wearing the Fitbit or, for example, if they have an abnormal lab value or abnormal genetic test, we're gathering all this information, all this data, and our primary 
Our primary focus is corporate wellness. So we're launching a big pilot with Sharp Healthcare. Mike Murphy is a, a visionary CEO who really understands that Sharp as the largest non-governmental employer in San Diego County, as well as one of the largest managed care organizations, they have to manage populations more effectively. And it doesn't mean that you have to be seeing one-on-one -on -one patients. A lot of what we can do to manage patients can be do, done remotely. And so RevUp actually scales that approach for large amounts of people. As a CEO and, and uh, emerging growth company, what's your biggest need right now? You know, our need is actually the, uh, the from a, there, there's a technology need, and then there's a, there's a market need. The technology need is that companies need to get away from thinking that it's about the sensor. It is not about the sensor. It's not about the device. It's not about the technology. It's how that technology integrates into an ecosystem to deliver better health. And right now, you have too many engineers who are creating solutions for problems they don't understand. And, 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 and delivery systems that they think are cool, but don't mesh with what's actually needed in the clinical realm. So we fill that void. We're helping technology companies. We're working with a lot of technology companies to actually help build their devices so that they can be plugged into an ecosystem, the healthcare system, which needs desperate help. On the market side, you need visionary companies and CEOs like Mike Murphy at Sharp to really start realizing, hey, we can manage populations better. We don't need to be building big hospitals. We don't need to be, we need to focus more on preventing disease. And prevention means an investment. So you have to invest in these tools, you know, buying a scale, buying a heart MR, buying a Fitbit for your patient, allowing your, your staff and team members, physician extenders, nurse practitioners, registered dietitians to be able to monitor people through software approaches and, and text messaging, email. We need to get into the 21st century. And so the market need for healthcare systems is to really adopt new approaches to manage populations. And on the technology side, for the technology companies to start realizing we need to work closely Closer with organizations such as ours that actually can help tell these companies how can they integrate with software platforms that deliver health. CSR Technologies is a good company out of uh, uh, Silicon Valley that is thinking in that way and there's several that are going that direction. I'd like to see that happen more. You're going to be coming to New York. What's happening there? That's right. So uh, I'll, I'll be a part of the panel on Digital Health Takes New York. Yeah. And uh, it's on the 26th, I believe, at 1130 in New York. And so uh, we'll be talking about obesity and how the tools of today and the technology tools of today can impact and help curb that uh, rise in ep epidemic of uh, diabetes and obesity. Okay, great. Well, how do people find out more information about you and your products? Sure. So go to mdrevolution.com and you can follow us on Twitter as well as Facebook. Fascinating. Well, thanks so much, Samir. And I uh, will definitely check out um, your website and uh, promote what you got cooking and excited for your, your success. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.